Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Acts chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. But hey, if this is your first time here, my name is Tim and I'm a pastor here in New Jersey and the whole vision behind my channel is simple. I make videos that will help grow your faith one video at a time. And so if that's something that appeals to you, please support my channel by hitting that like button. And with that said, let's get into it. And in today's Bible passage, we're gonna learn a tragic and an unfortunate story about this married couple from the book of Acts. And the book of Acts, which is in the New Testament, is all about the early church. You see, the early church grew so quickly and so rapidly because so many people were believing and following Jesus Christ. So this early church, this community of believers, they shared everything with everyone. So for example, some of them shared their food, some of them shared their time, and some of them were very generous with their money. So for example, there was a guy named Barnabas, and fun fact, his name actually means son of encouragement, which is pretty cool. But anyways, he sold a piece of his property, and with all the money that he made, he donated it to the church. That's pretty dope. But anyways, let's, uh, let's change this location. Give me one sec. So where were we? Um, all right, our Bible story, it comes from Acts chapter five, verses one to 11. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is where we learn about this married couple in the church. The husband's name was Ananias and the wife's name was Sapphira. Oh, hey, um, did you say Sephora because I love that store. No, not Sephora, I said Sapphira. Sephora? No, 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 Sapphira. Sephora? No, 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 okay, okay. Say it with me, okay? Sa, sa, fi, fi, ra, ra, Sapphira, Sephora. All right, forget it, I give up, I give up, I give up. Ananias and Sapphira wanted to do what Barnabas did. They wanted to give money to the church, so they sold a piece of the property. But this is where the story takes a tragic turn. You see, Ananias gave some of the money to the church, but said that he gave all of it to the church. So in other words, Ananias lied about the amount that he gave to the church. He gave some, but then he kept the rest for himself. And the apostle Peter knew exactly what he was doing. He knew that he was lying, and so this is what he said to him. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied just to human beings, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and he died. Whoa, whoa, okay, um, hold on. What just happened? That escalated so quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's how the story went. He just fell down and he died. Died? Then what happened to his wife? She came three hours later and um, let's just say, um, ugh. wait, so does that mean if I lie, then I'm going to die too? Well, for Ananias and Sapphira, lying cost them their life. But for us, lying won't kill us, but it will cost us our reputation and it will kill trust with other people. God takes lying pretty seriously. So our words should match our actions. And this story that we just learned about was an example of what it looks like to lose trust with people and what it looks like to be dishonest. However, there's another story, another example that we should actually follow. And that example shows us what it means to be truthful. You see, God kept his promise by sending his son Jesus to be our Lord and our savior. Jesus proved that we can trust God. He did exactly what he said he would do by dying on the cross for our sin. And the reason why is because Jesus is the truth. Jesus is truth. And so when we follow Jesus, we are also called to be truthful. So here is our bottom line for today, and it is this. Being truthful is when our words and our actions match. And so with that said, Pastor Tim, out. Oh, oh geez, Ooh. how did I get here? Wash your hands. What? Oh, all right, hand sanitizer. Oh man, I keep forgetting. I know, it's like your third time. But anyways, her name is Sephora, right? No, it's Sapphira, okay? Not Sephora. Sapphira. Anyways, remember, O A 
always wash your hands. Pastor Tim out. Remember, always wash your hands.